the debating team of Tourism 2019 is candidate number three! Samantha Pauline O. Peranin, representing Glamour Salon and Kagawad Marlon C. Paul. It has exactly been one year when my name Samantha Pauline Olaer Ferrino won the Binibinihog Tourism Crown. And it has also been exactly 18 years when I joined the same pageant, winning first runner-up. Does joining pageants really run in the blood? In the national arena, we have Melanie Marquez and her daughter Michelle Marquez D. In our locality, we have the famous Barrow Sisters and in Misamis Oriental. The beautiful Diano sisters. For our family, it can be that our interests were passed on to Sam. That's why she also got interested into pageants. Samantha Pauline Olaer Ferranil! I started joining pageants way back in elementary, winning the Binibining Agama Teknolohiya in grade 6. I also got the Miss Intramurals crown in 4th year high school. Sam, on the other hand, won the title in the same school as the Miss Ngog City Comprehensive National High School. In college, I continued on to join other pageants such as Mutia Sabuhana in 2002. Samantha also joined other pageants in her school just like the Miss Videla Sports and other pageants after that just like I did even when I was already a teacher. I remember the best in swimwear competition of teachers during the teachers month way back in 2015. I represented East 2 alongside Sir Arvin Ambal. It was a super fun experience. In 2016, I also represented the division office during the Education Week celebration in December as Miss Japan. I think if you get to join pageants when you were little, you seem to get the hang of it, the world of pageantry. Sam then joined Miss Koyami's 2020 after winning the Binibini Hino of Tourism Crown, and there she grabbed the third runner-up place. I guess that's one of the secret weapons of the beauty queens. Experience. You just have to keep joining beauty pageants for you to gain that certain level of confidence on stage. There are many factors that contribute in why Filipinos love pageants. One of it is pageants have become an essential part of cultural pride. And also because it is something Filipinos are good at. We have quite a number of Filipino beauty queens who conquered the international pageant arena. With our history of struggle, Filipinos feel a sense of victory whenever a beauty queen brings home a crown back to our motherland. As you can see, pageant ladies are poised, beautiful, composed, and most importantly, smart and confident. But as for me and Sam, joining the Bini Bini Hino of Tourism pageant, whatever year it is though, is one of the most fulfilling achievements we have as true Hingo Ognans. Of course, my little Julia also had her share of beauty pageants, winning as the Miss Toddlers 2018 and Miss Juniors B 2019. That video clip was taken when she was still in juniors class, and she was still a bit shy. I would be very happy if in the future she will follow her at the Sam's footsteps in beauty pageants.
Miss Philippines, the question is, what is the disease that is causing people to be scared right now? I believe COVID-19. Are you scared of COVID-19, of the virus? I believe, yeah. <laughs> and what should you do to be away from the virus? And the winner is Miss Philippines! <laughs> Your prize will be one hour of swimming! <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Philippines! With Julia's baby steps and pageants, the happiest in our family is Manong Albert.